Uh, hello and welcome to another video of me playing Plants vs Zombies. This time we're going to play Puzzle and I'm going to do Eye Zombie. Now Eye Zombie basically means I am the zombie. So it's my job to pick out zombies that can get through and eat all of the brains there. I'm going to click to continue. So every stage is different, okay, but basically I've got 150 stars and I can choose from these zombies here. Start by getting some more suns. Mm -hmm. That's alright. Hopefully, you can at least trigger that pair. Come on, make it a little bit further. Trigger that pair, beauty. So now, what we'll do is we use that bucket to hit head there, he'll get through. And up here, Get some more stars. I keep calling them stars, but they're actually suns from the sunflower. And I'll put that one in right behind him. So he'll get a bit of cover. Okay. So that one is under control. And this one here. Go with that one. Now, second from the top, and there are three lots of uh, shooters there. So we've got spares, we might as well use them. There you go. I'll uh, finish this one off in a second. Be this stage complete. Now they do get harder. So we'll move on to the next one, which is I Zombie 2. And remember, I Zombie means I am the zombie, basically. So now what we got is we got some spikes, we got the blue snow pea, and we got the green repeaters. So they shoot two peas at a time. We've got 150 suns in the bank. So what we might try and do is we'll go with this one at the top. Hopefully he can get through the whole thing, but it's going to be touch and go because there are spikes there as well as the repeater push pea shooter. We'll also do is we'll put this one here. Let's see how he goes. And we need some more um, sun so that I can put down some more zombies. So we've got one lot of brains. It won't be long and we'll have another set of brains. So I'll put this one here. And we may as well put that one there. And now that we've got some more stars, we'll put one in there as well. Just keep an eye on them. We'll chuck another one in behind there. We'll chuck another one behind there as well. And might as well chuck one behind there as well. Comfortably make this. Oh, 
comfortable as well. So we'll go can you dig it? So with these ones we've got these ones that can dig backwards. So we may as well use him there because he'll get through all of those and get that sunflower out for us. But now we've got to wait because we've got no more suns. So we have to wait for him to get that sunflower. We'll use the cheapest one to uh, deactivate that main mine. And now we'll go with a bucket head. He should be able to get through the whole lot. And I'll put one of those cheap zombies in here to get those brains there. Because that one that digs backwards, he doesn't actually get the brains. Because he comes back too early. Now here, we've got one of these ones that shoot backwards. going to try and finish him off with that sheep zombie. And I want him to uh, deactivate that landmine for us if we can. And basically, there's nothing there to do any more damage. So we can use another cheap zombie there. Here we've got a fire pit, so we better use a bucket head. Up here we may as well put him underneath and then come backwards, take everything out. So once again, we've made this pretty comfortably. Just gotta wait for him to take the other pea shooter out and then we'll put a Sun's there, so it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to wait for them to get through there and eat those brains, and then we move on to the next one. Totally nuts. So what do we got here? We're at walnuts and we got um so at least we've got ladder zombies here, they can climb the, the walnut pretty quickly. Now gotta be careful because we got really got one go at it. Uh, if we use one of these here. Because they've got to get over and get some sunflowers in order for us to have more uh, stars to um, continue playing. So I'll we'll put him over there. Put him up over there. Oh, 
there as well. Didn't have many um, suns in the back but we got the job done. Alrighty, so now we're on a dead zeppelin. Now this one here, so we've got magnets here so we can't use a bucket head straight away because that could be a problem now what we need to do is we need to get some more sun so we'll put this one in here hopefully you can get through a couple of sunflowers at least we'll get rid of that uh, magnet now now that that magnet's gone we can use a bucket head. Um, there's another bucket head here. Put a bucket head there. Suns. Okay. Chuck in there. Okay, looking pretty good at the moment. Chuck in there as well. Chuck in there. Don't really need it, but just to make a sure thing of it. Zeppelin, so let's have a go at me smash. So this one we got this um, uh, gargantua. We can just basically smash his way through. But uh, first thing we need to do is we've got to get some more suns now. No, no, no. Is he the? Yeah, he is a pole vault one. So I'll use him. We'll go over that garlic, and he'll just clean up all those. Sunflowers for us. We'll use this one here to get rid of that pear. Chuck him in there, see how he goes. Now we're on 
to Zomboogie. Now this one's got a lot of uh, landmines and those uh, purple uh, like Venus flytrap type plants so we're gonna sacrifice a lot of cheap zombies in this game that's okay there's the sunflowers at the front so what we need to do as soon as he gets snapped up we put the next one down so that way he can get through that sunflower and then make his way in the next one what will happen, he'll get to that next one and then that one behind will start eating him. Now what we'll do is we will put that one there. So just going to keep an eye on things here. Because... Oh no, that might have been a bit risky. Hopefully we timed this alright. Yes, good. So that pole vault will get over that one. Yes, yeah, so that's fine. there but anyway not to worry so we'll put him there blow up that landmine take out that landmine and then what we'll do we'll go with two of these so he'll jump the first one and the second one will eat him and then this one he'll jump and then he'll eat that one that's got his mouth full at the moment that's all good through now but we've got enough zombies here to get through and get those brains. So that was Zomboogie, so now it's on to three hit wonder. So I've got a couple of magnets here, which we've got to be wary of those things. Um, but looking at this, we could probably take out this line here with just the little men, even though it'll be a bit slow, because you'll have to eat through that walnut first, but he can do that. have to sit tight because uh, I haven't got enough to buy a zombie to get through any of the other lanes. Thank you. 
Right then, Pear's going to jump in a minute. And then that metal bucket head will get through the rest of it. So, uh, that was a little bit challenging, but we made it comfortably in the end. Sunflower, and then we're going to eat those last brains. So we've got five out of five brains there. And that stage is now also done. So we'll do what is the last um, game in this stage. So we've done all of these. We've done Zombie, Zombie 2, Can You Dig It, Totally Nuts, Dead Zeppelin. We've done Me Smash, Zomboogie. 3 hit wonder and now what we'll do is we'll play all your brains belong to us we'll see how we go now it looks like we've got extra lanes we've got more plants okay now you notice we've got this triple shooter here so we've got to be aware of that and we've also got a star here so we're going to be aware of that too so if I, and I've only got 150, so we've got to be careful here. Um, what are we going to do? There's a magnet right down the bottom. This one here should be able to take that star sunflower out and hopefully you can at least trigger that first landmine. Okay, good, he's got one landmine out of the way. We've got this magnet here, so we're going to be aware of that magnet. Um, mm. Right, I'm going to take this magnet out. Just hope I'm not missing anything. I'm going to get that magnet out. So now I can use a bucket head. Okay. We'll use another bucket head here. Follow him up with a uh, plastic cone head. We need them to get through to those. At least to get through to that next sunflower. Keep going. Come on, keep going. We're going to be patient here. As, um, as you can see, we haven't got many suns. So I don't want to make any silly mistakes. Okay, now, looking at this, this third lane and the top lane, we could take it on just by using these little 50 uh, point zombies, but we've got this pea shooter here, which is a problem, right? So what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of that triple lane pea shooter, get rid of him, And then, we'll send those little fellas in. Send that one in there too. Just make sure you leave a bit of a gap between them all. So if you don't leave a gap, <laughs> the bombs or the pears will take out a couple of them in that one sort of explosion or that one splat. Now we'll chuck that one in there. Uh, we may as well go with this one down here. We need to take them all out from behind. Hopefully he can get the job done. Put this one in. He'll jump over the first one, eat the second one, get those brains. The same here. Thank you. 
hybrid iron zombie in to try and get the game over with earlier. The football zombie. Oh, there you go. Took a little bit of thinking, but we got through that one without too many dramas. But it really is important to look around to see what you've got in other lanes. Because, um, it can cause problems. Now what we'll do, we'll just play the longest streak until I get beaten. So I'll start a new game. So this is just a never ending, just one after the other. Um, now we've got a magnet here. Okay, we've got a star there, and we've got a triple lane pea shooter there. So, with that in mind, what we'll do is um, we'll be a bit careful. Gonna try and get rid of this magnet, so I'll put him in. Those two will get through that magnet, even though they'll be getting hit by that star. Hopefully they can get through and get to those sunflowers before that star kills them. Yeah, beauty. Alrighty, so that's that done. Now we may as well put this fella in. He'll just take out the whole lot from behind. Same here. Just take the whole lot out. Now, because we got rid of the magnet, we can use our metal bucket head there. What we'll do first, we'll use a little tiny little zombie to get rid of that pair. Now we'll do that metal bucket head. Just gotta hope this fella can get over. The uh, spike, he should be right. Anyway, we're gonna go back and eat the brains anyway, so. I'm just gonna do this really quick now. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because I... Oh, silly, silly, silly. I just wasted stars, because these stars, it's like a bank. They carry on through to the next game. So, I can't do what I was doing earlier, but I just, you know... Just trying to speed things up. I've got to try to be as conservative as I can with those... Those suns. Anyway, is what it is. Probably would have used a metal bucket head, so technically it cost me 50 more than it should have to get through that bottom one. Alrighty, so that's a, that's a streak of one at the moment. Alright, so what have we got here? Magnet over here. Alright, so we'll what we'll do we'll go with this one to begin with. And then we'll put him in second. And hopefully between the two of them they'll get through. But we have got the star shirt and we've got a corn there as well, so and the corn is just when he throws the big butter, it just uh, stops him from moving at all. Come on, get through, get through, come on, get through. Come on, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it, Beauty. Okay. So this star is a little bit of a problem. And so too is that magnet. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of that magnet. Gonna get rid of that magnet. Once that magnet's gone, we can um, we can go at it with. Uh, you know, we've got to try and get rid of this star now. So we'll go at it with that. Chuck him in there. Got it with 
that. fly trap. Anyway. So what are we going to do here? Because, um... I think he'll be okay. He's still got to eat that uh, sunflower. And then he's still got to get forward a little bit more and eat that uh, blue snow pea. But at the moment, he's still got his hat, so. But it's very slow going because that snow pea's slowing him right down. Made it through. So we've got a streak of two. So what have we got up got against us here? Okay, so we've got another magnet there. I'm gonna get rid of that first. first but anyway hopefully it'll be okay. Should have taken a triple line T shooter out first but it uh, looks like this other bucket head will get through anyway. Uh, just go with the, uh, we'll just hit it with the metal bucket heads. Good, he just made it. This uh, one in the middle. It's looking pretty, uh, pretty sad though. But uh, he's going to make it, which is good. Alrighty, so there's something here. Through three, streak of three. Wow, look at this one, eh? Got landmines everywhere. Not too many sunflowers either. It's a bit of a 
problem, isn't it? start with a hundred suns so it might be all over before it even begins so we've got a streak of four which is just average but guess what we are in trouble so we've got that sun flower there and the rest of them are a long way back round because um, I mean what can we do so I'll put this fella in I'm pretty sure that pair will take him out straight away I'm pretty sure that pair will jump straight on him hmm? yep so that's the end of him that was great wasn't it eh I knew that was going to happen but I had to try it <laughs> Alright, anyway, not to worry. And if we put this one here, he's just going to get eaten by that one. So she's all over. Anyway, not to worry, made a streak of four. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed watching. And good luck when you next play. Cheers. <laughs>